All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit more specifically about sound waves and talking about what we hear and why we hear it. Um, real quick before we go into different parts of sound and why certain voices sound different or different sounds, how we interpret them, all that fun stuff, um, let's talk a little bit about what sound waves are. They're a little bit different than the previous video where they show kind of that the slinky like and the big wave motion that we're very used to seeing that up and down. Um, these kinds of waves are actually what we call longitudinal waves. So this is the tuning fork here on this video. And you notice that the little, um, the green and red uh, the things on the bottom part, those are air particles. And instead of moving up and down, kind of like in that slinky way that we're very familiar with seeing a wave, uh, they are compressing. So we have actually different points of compression here. Um, so you can see uh, at a different couple different points here, like here's a compression um, in that. And we use this, you know, that's what sound waves are. This is what we call a longitudinal wave, all right, where actually the, as the wave moves to the right, the particles are moving in a parallel or in the back and forth in the left and right, not in the perpendicular, like in the transverse wave. But we do still like to draw these as sound waves are as transverse waves because it makes it a little bit easier. In fact, on the top chart shows how much the object's moving. And even if you look at it, it almost kind of looks like a transverse wave when you kind of graph it a little bit there. So we still use that picture to describe sound waves, although they, tru they truly are actually longitudinal waves. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about why we hear what we hear. All right, now I'm gonna tell you right now, this one, we're gonna talk about audio, we're gonna talk about sound. So if you're wearing earbuds, this might get a little intense. And if you're not wearing earbuds, the people around you might be a little confused on what's happening. Um, so what I have here is I have uh, a different, different sounds. All right, and so I can play some of them. All right, it's kind of a low sound, right? That one's a little bit more intense, again. I want to adjust your headphones properly if you're listening to some headphones. All right. Um, but each one of these sliders has a different frequency. Uh, you can see at the bottom of my little chart there, uh, they have different amounts of frequency going from 30 hertz, that's 30 waves per second, all the way up to 16,000 hertz or 16,000 waves per second. All right. So let's think about that. Let's think about that and what we did with the last, you know, what that actually would look like. All right. So if I have over here, 30 hertz, that's pretty low, right? That's a pretty low frequency. Low frequency means a very long wavelength. So these waves are probably going to look very long like this. While over here onto the, um, on the right side, with 16,000 hertz, right? That's a very high frequency. That means that's a lot of waves per second. So you have to squish them really close together to get that. And so we're talking about a very high frequency here these waves and these wavelength, the wavelength is very low. I talked about in last new, our last video, wavelength frequency are going to determine different kinds of sound. All right. So again, let's listen to that again here. We're, I'm actually going to run through it. Starting from 30 hertz to 16,000 hertz. And we're going to see how the sound changes. Now I set them all to the same decibels you see on the Y axis here. That's, that's the amount of loudness. All right, we set that the same amount. In fact, actually, um, we're not going to focus that much today, but loudness, which we measure in decibels, all right, is determined by the wave's amplitude. The bigger the wave, the taller the wave, the louder it is, the more energy it has. But let's run through it from left to right. Again, adjust your headphones properly. Um, we're going to go from something that has a very low wavelength, or sorry, very long wavelength, all the way over to something with a very short wavelength and let's see what happened changes in the sound. I can barely hear that one. There we go. Definitely. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can barely hear that last one. Now, the question is to you. Which ones could you hear and which ones could you not hear? All right. 
in my experience, there's only, or for humans, there's only a range of sounds that we could hear, right? And as you get old, so that range, right? So let's say 30 to 16,000, as you get older, just damage to your ears, um, you know, listening to your AirPods too long, uh, too much, too loud. What you do is you're over time, you start to shrink that range a little bit, a little bit more. I hope you could hear that 16,000 one, because if you could not, that's not good. That means your hearing is worse than mine and I'm twice your age. All right. The 31 was a little bit hard to hear. Um, it's a little tough here. I'll do it one more time. So try and listen to what point can you start hearing it? What point can you stop hearing it? Okay, I can bear I can hear those ones. Definitely there. Definitely. Everyone should hear these ones. Everyone should be able to hear those. Ooh, could you hear that last one? You might have felt the pressure. Now there's a difference because if you feel the pressure, that's the sound waves hitting your ear, but your brain might not be able to interpret that sound because of the damage. All right. Anyway, so what we're trying to get here is as the frequency increased, the, the part of sound quality that was changing was pitch. All right, the pitch was changing. All right, so frequency in this case here is going to determine the pitch. A very high pitch sound is going to have a very high frequency. So this one over here is going to have a high pitch. Uh, well, the reverse of that, the ones with a very long wavelength, very low frequency is going to have a low pitch. All right. Now, these all had the same amplitude, uh, just to kind of measure that there. Remember that that amplitude is what we're measuring as loudness or intensity. Uh, it makes it a certain length or a certain volume there. I kept them the same on that one. All right. So that's a little bit about our relationships. And we're talking about sound waves and we start going into more in depth on more complex topics like the Doppler effect and wave interference. It's going to have to do with two, the, two, uh, sorry, two things. The amplitude of the wave and the frequency of the wave, or basically its wavelength. That's going to determine its loudness and its pitch. So all of sound is determined basically on how tall is the wave and um, how long is its wavelength. That will determine the, the loudness and the pitch of those sounds. So uh, that last part was a big major thing to understand about sound waves. So if you didn't get it, make sure to go back and look at it. Um, otherwise, you know, make sure you got all the major points in your guys' handy dandy notebooks. And uh, thank you for watching and good luck. And may the science be with you. Bye-bye oh. now.